What is going on guys? No jewels, just saw it here. Because today I have a video that I just wanted to sit down alone and talk to you guys and just talk to the camera by myself and just tell you guys my story and who I am and just my life because I feel like I haven't been able to do that. And I'm finally standing up for myself and I'm finally coming out. I'm actually finally coming out and I didn't think this time or this actually would happen because I've just been scared of what other people would say and I'm scared of family and people and just social media. I've always been scared of what they had to say. Before I say anything else, I just want to say I am the same person I was yesterday. I am going to be the same person tomorrow. I'm still the same person and I'm just going to be a lot happier after this video comes out and I give you guys my truth on who I am because I feel like I've been hiding in the shadows for a very long time because I've been scared and I've been semi living a life that I didn't want to because I'm scared of what other people would say and I'm tired of living for other people. My name is Saad. I am transgender. I am F to M, which is female to male, if you don't know. And I have been wanting to say this for the longest time. But like I said, I've been scared of what other people will say or have to say, but I'm done with it. I'm not gonna let other people control my life anymore. Hopefully this video can help others and let you know that you're not alone and um yeah okay so i'm just gonna give my story and how i knew and just everything that has been going on okay so let's start off when i was younger obviously i was wearing girly clothes and stuff like that but i always wanted to wear t-shirts or like khakis or like shorts or I've always wanted to play with the boy toys. I never cared for the dolls, never cared for stuff like that. Like I just always felt like different and I never knew what it was. But I've always felt different. Like when I grew up like I would be playing with the boys like I would not go and play with like the girls or anything like that like I would want to go and like I know like anybody can go and play basketball but I felt like one of the boys like I felt good like I felt like them um but when I was younger like I said I just always felt different always wanted the boy stuff and I'm not saying just because you like boy stuff that means you're trans like that does not mean anything but to me it it felt different fast forwarding into middle school i it's it's funny to think about because now my hair is short um but i did and i uh, i did have a ponytail at one point in my life and i used to take the ponytail and flip it up and put a beanie on in my room and wear it like that i've literally only told Julia this like that is the only person that knows that I have done this and I used to take pictures like that and I used to be like I like this I like how this looks um and I always wanted to cut my hair I always wanted to do it but I wasn't allowed to I wasn't allowed to cut my hair short um fast forwarding into high school that's when I started dating I, I know that this is going to be even weird for me to say but this is just my truth this is how I felt this is what happened to me and I'm just being honest with you guys so dating a male to me it never felt right I didn't know about the LGBT community until around my sophomore year where I actually got to cut my hair but not all the way I got to buzz the back and listen I touched it and felt my hair like that and I was like I want my whole head like this like I wanted my hair like that I would never tell anybody this because I thought I was weird I didn't know that other people were going through stuff like this in high school I was getting uncomfortable with the word she and the pronoun she I I, I didn't I, I felt like that wasn't me 
I've always felt awkward when they said, or anybody even said, she to me. And to this day, and this is going to even sound crazier, but to this day, some people in my life still say she, or they slip up and say she, and it gives me a pit in my stomach, and it makes me so uncomfortable, and I... I can't stand it. Um, and all the years of me feeling uncomfortable when people call me she, or if I was told to wear a dress, or if I was told to wear something girly, or my, my jeans were too tight on my legs, or I had to wear something that you could see my chest with. I didn't know that was body dysphoria. I didn't know that that's why I felt that way and why I didn't like how I looked and why I didn't like the way I sounded or the why the way I just didn't like myself. Going into high school, I did come out as gay. Now, this felt a little bit better coming out as gay because I'm attracted to girls, obviously. But it didn't completely feel right. I, in high school, I wore, um, I started to wear shirts that were baggier or pants and it felt comfortable but I still didn't feel right like I, yes I was dating people but it still never completely felt right and to hear the word she coming out of people's mouth never felt right I've always been uncomfortable with it like from from the time I can literally remember I've, I've just been uncomfortable but I didn't know like I knew what LGBT was but I feel like in my high school at the time like when you were in like what 2013 I didn't know really what LGBT was I knew what lesbian gay and bi were but I never I never thought to think like what is the T I never knew about it until I downloaded this app called Musical.ly I found out what the word transgender meant I found a transgender community I googled it, I did my research, I watched YouTubers, I followed people, and I wanted to know more about this because I didn't know that there was a thing that you could literally be trench. I didn't, I didn't know that was a thing. I started doing my research and I realized that I was trans. I was transgender and I felt good i felt comfortable i was like okay this is it like this is exactly what i am so i would message people that were also transgender and i would ask them and and ask them how they knew and what their story was and stuff like that and it, it all just started clicking and i started feeling comfortable and i started feeling good about myself and that is when i realized this is who i am but i've always been scared to tell my family, to tell my friends, to just tell anybody. Um, I came out once and now I'm going to come out twice. So it was just a lot for me. I started learning about a bunch of things. I started learning that there's binders. I started learning that there's testosterone, there's tops, there's all these things that can make you into exactly who you are. And Ever since I found this community, I I am so thankful that I've found this and I have just been scared. Um, fast forwarding to who I'm dating now, Julia. She is the first girl that I dated that I came out to as trans. So Julia, when we first started talking, she thought I was a boy and that made me feel comfortable. But I told her, I said, hey, like, I'm transgender like i i don't know like how like if you're gonna like me or not after this or whatever but let me tell you and this is gonna make me cry julia has been there for me for every single thing every time that i've been upset with my body or upset with how i sound or just anything Julia is the person that I go to and she's the only person that gives me 100% comfort in who I am because I've just been scared of what everybody else has to say and she has been my support.
for the longest time this whole thing she has been supporting me um but i just want to say shout out to you and i love you jules and i i don't even know what i'd be doing if it wasn't for you um but she has been supporting me and i got my first binder i remember getting my first binder and she helped me put it on she helped me a lot just get through everything and, and help me with research and looking things up and she was the first person to call me by my pronouns he him she was the first person to actually take this serious and to say boyfriend and just to be there for me completely the whole time and to fight for me julia always fights for me so so fast forwarding a little bit more i didn't actually verbally ever say I am transgender until this day. If you scroll down further into my Instagram you'll see um, pictures that are for um, trans kids and stuff like that but I have never actually said it and it's never actually came out of my mouth. I've never actually said my story because I've been terrified and if you guys also didn't know I if you watch older videos of ours like one of our oldest videos I was not yet using he him pronouns on YouTube because I was scared of my family you'll hear in maybe two YouTube videos Julia use she pronouns and the only reason why she used those pronouns is because I've been scared of other people I've been scared of my family I've been scared of what other people are gonna say and I'm tired of living my life for other people so if you guys end up stumbling upon one of those videos I just wanted to clear that up that it's because we were terrified after realizing hey like I don't want to use her and she in videos we completely agreed on the fact of not using any pronouns at all so I can't give you a specific timeline but if you go down to further videos you will notice that Julia doesn't use pronouns she just says sod we don't say he she we don't say any of that we just say sod because that was so much better than hearing she in a video that i i do not identify as that i do not identify as that and that would happen and i would just be so i'd be sick i'd literally be sick after just like hearing somebody say that and some of you might be wondering well why now and i just want to let you guys know this is my time and i'm tired and i'm gonna say it again i'm tired of living my life for other people for people that i don't see often too or for people that are just a comment and i'm done i'm done with that i've realized i'm getting older and I sit in bed sometimes and I am stressed, curled up in a ball that I have lived my life so long for other people. I'm 24. I, I'm like, I'm 24. I should have been living my, I should have been out living my best life and being cool. I want to be out and not being just scared away. And I want you guys to know if it is not your time, it's not your time. But when you come out, you do have a support system and I will be your support system. And I want you guys to know that I'm sorry for not coming out before and I regret not coming out before and I want to be there for other people and I really hope this video can get to as many people as possible because I just don't want you guys to be living your lives for other people or because people are are gonna be mad at you it doesn't matter like I apologize if I'm all over the place with this video. I'm not really an emotional person. I don't show my emotions that much. So this video is probably just going to be everywhere. I also want to let you guys know that this is just the beginning of my story. And this is just the beginning of who I actually am. And I'm sick and tired of the boy or girl comments. I'm over that. I'm done with that. Now you know. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my coming out story and just my life in general. And I just want to let you guys know there's a lot more coming. 
and um, I can't believe I actually am doing this now. I can't believe this is happening. I, I love you guys. I will see you later. And stay A1. <laughs>